hi guys welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is osere me if you're seeing me for the first time thank you so much for stopping by here on this channel i share sewing tutorials and pattern drafting videos so if you're interested in that kind of content you might want to hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post a new video so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i made this beautiful dress i'm putting on right now it was inspired by a style i saw on vicky james and also on mayrush online so this is what i saw and this is what i made here so if you're interested in learning how to make this simple circle dress with the open sleeve feathers around the ends keep on watching and let's get started with the tutorial so guys this is the fabric i am going to be using to share this tutorial with you guys is a beautiful 100 percent cutting african print you will need at least three to four yards of fabric to be able to make this dress depending on your size i also have this feather piece here one yard of this feather piece actually cost me 1500 and i got two yards of it which is in total 3000 era now that was actually very expensive for me i didn't expect the feather to be this expensive but at least you will need two yards of the feather to be able to make this dress so let's go ahead and start cutting now you're going to spread out your fabric just like you see me doing like this and then you're going to pick one edge here and fold it in a way that it looks like a triangle so pick one edge of your fabric and fold it into two like a triangle just like i'm doing here so once you're done arranging everything properly like this i'm going to go ahead and iron it in place so that this fabric doesn't shift from where i want it to be so guys after ironing out the first fold i am going to make another fold again so now we have folded this fabric in form of a triangle but we folded it into four places so but this second fold i didn't let it get to the exact end of my fabric this is because i want to use the excess at the end of this fabric to serve as my zipper allowance for the back of this dress so you can see how i'm folding this second part it's very close to the end but it's not exactly at the end i also went ahead to iron it in place so now when you're done folding it up it should look like this so it's going to look like this and another thing you will notice is at the end you will notice that one part of the fabric is not exactly as long as the other part this is totally a normal thing with you folding your fabric like this when you're about to make a simple flared dress now from this second fold i have here not this first one i'm going to measure towards the side of this fold half of my shoulder measurement half of my shoulder measurement in seven so wherever i got that seven i'm going ahead to draw a line across i'm sorry i was trying out all my different chalks to be sure of which one would be more visible for you guys to see so at this seven inches mark i just made a straight line across this is my shoulder line now from this shoulder line i'm coming down to 10 inches which is my bust measurement my bust point so i'm also drawing a straight line across now from this folded part of this pattern here this part here i'm going to measure half of my shoulder measurements like i did before half of my shoulder measurement is seven i just marked a point there now from this same center i'm coming in by three inches for my neck width and i'm coming down by five inches for my neck depth so i actually want this neckline to be a little bit deeper than what i saw on the thumbnail so that was why i came down by five inches as you can see i just used these two points to create a round neckline for the dress now on this shoulder point here i'm going to come down by one inch for my shoulder slope and i will just slope it into the neckline now after this i'm going to come down by my armhole de depth which i actually get by dividing my bust measurement by six and adding 1.5 to whatever i get so whenever i do that calculation i get seven inches so i marked a point at the seven inches mark and then i'm connecting from the shoulder to the seven inches point now i'm going to divide this seven inches armhole depth into two equal halves and make a point here now from this point i'll be going in by half inch now on the end of this armhole here i'm going to divide my bust measurement into four and mark it 
Note that I took all my measurements from the front pattern, not from the zipper allowance at the back. Please take note of that. So as you can see, I'm just joining my three points together, the top of the armhole, the middle point, and the end of the armhole to give me a nice curve. So now from the shoulder line, I am going to go down by how long I want this dress to be. So I want it to be about 34 inches by the time I'm done making this dress. But right now I'm marking it at the 36 inches point. So I'm making sure that my tape is right on the shoulder line at the top. And I'm going down to the 36 inches point. I'm making this mark all the way across the end of this dress. So now what I want to go ahead and do is to add my stitching allowance to the side. But first, from the middle point again on the bust line here, on the bust line, remember from the middle, not from the zipper allowance, I'm going to go in by my bust measurement divided by 4. And then I added extra 2 inches for ease. And then on this armhole here, I'm coming out by an extra 1 inch just to be able to stitch this down for st stitching allowance. And now I'm just going to connect this line all the way to the end of my dress. And now, as you can see, I'm cutting out my dress pattern all the way around the drawing lines that I have on the fabric. So go ahead and do the same thing. So guys, this is what I have right now. When you open it up, you're going to notice that the back is not full. One part of the back is not full and then this side of the front as well is not full. So we'll be adding extra fabric to complete those parts. So for the back, I'm going to be using this piece here to join to the part of the back that is not full and complete it. And then for the front part as well, the part of the front that is not full is actually very little. You can see it here. It's a very little part. So I'm going to use my another piece of fabric as well to complete this area and then trim it out to look exactly the same as the other part so guys i've made those stitches i've joined the pieces together you can see it doesn't even look like i joined it here you can see how this part these back pieces are now full right so i also went ahead to join the back pieces together but i left some inches at the top for my zipper allowance here at the top so this is how far i've gone with the back pattern now for the front piece as well this is where i made my joining i've trimmed off the excess allowance and ironed it out and you can barely see that there's even a joining there so now i'm going to finish up the neckline of this dress and to do that i cut out a facing to cut out your facing you're just going to fold a fabric and place it around the neckline and cut it exactly as the neckline and then just give it a little bit of depth about two inches wide so that is what i did here and i cut out for both the front and the back i also already folded the end of the facing so i'm placing it on my neckline right sides facing each other and i'm going to go ahead and stitch it down here make notches and turn it over to the right side and iron it out i will also be doing the same thing for the back pieces as well i'll be placing the facing on the back neckline i also cut out facing for the back neckline i'll be placing them here like you see on both sides like this and then i will head over to the sewing machine and i'll be stitching it down from the top all the way here and then down to this point and then from this point all the way around the neckline and turn it over to the right side so guys this is what i have here i've already turned it over to the wrong side and you can see how nicely the right side is looking i also do the same thing for the back necklines as well as you can see and now i'm going to place the front and the back together on the shoulder area and i'm going to be using the front facing to turn everything over so i'm going to be joining the shoulders together but i want to use the front facing to turn everything over as you can see what i did here and i'm going to pin the shoulder down you can decide not to pin this down and just go straight to your sewing machine let me show you again how to go about this process so put the two shoulders together turn use the front facing to turn everything over like this use the front facing to turn everything over go ahead and pin it down and then we're going to go over to the sewing machine and stitch down the shoulders so guys i'm done stitching it down as you can see this is what the inside is looking like right now 
so um what i'm going to do now is to fix the zipper to the back remember that we left a space at the back for our zipper earlier so i'm going to go ahead and fix my zipper to the back and that'll basically be it for this body part for now we'll be leaving this aside let's work on the sleeve so guys for the sleeve i already drafted out a basic long sleeve pattern as you can see now we're going to be changing this into a flare sleeve so at the end of the sleeve here i'm just marking one and a half inch distance away from each other i just marked one and a half inch points to separate this pattern into three so from this point i'm drawing a straight line all the way to the top and i'm drawing another straight line from this other point as well all the way to the top and then i went ahead to label the species one two and three and now i'm going to cut through each line until i get to the top but i won't be cutting it off entirely we are going to be using a slash and spread method here and this is basically how to go about it now i have folded my sleeve fabric into four as you can see here because i want to cut the two sleeves together so now from this folded edge here that doesn't have any cut i'm going to be placing my pattern so the very pattern labeled one is going to be on the edge where we have the folds here so go ahead and place it on this edge here and pin it down now i'm going to be giving some space before i place pattern two now i'll be leaving a space of three and a half inch from the first pattern that i have as you can see here and i'm going to pin down pattern two so now for pattern four i decided to use four inches you can also decide to use three and a half inches just like we used before but i decided to use four inches here now you'll notice that my pattern papers are a little bit longer than the fabric this is something we can work with because we are going to be using our feathers to complete the length of our sleeve so i'm just going to go ahead now and trace out the sleeve pattern now i'm going to go up on the side of the sleeve by about one and a half inch and just curve it into the center of the sleeve if you don't do this the sleeve is actually going to look weird it's not going to be curved nicely so i just curve this into the center like this and i'm just going to trim it out to make it smooth now you see that the sleeve will now have a very nice curve at this end here so this is basically all for the cutting out of the sleeve now i will head over to the sewing machine and complete the end of the sleeve with my feathers so how i'm going to go about this is i'm going to open up the end of the sleeve like i've done here and i'm going to be placing my feather on the front of the sleeve if you are working with a sleeve fabric that frays you need to first of all fold the end of the sleeve before going ahead to place your um, feather piece on top of it so guys this is what my sleeve looks like as you can see here after i was done placing the feathers for the two sleeves okay so you can see how nicely it looks now we are going to go ahead and place our sleeve on our dress this is the dress i've already added the zipper to the back like i said i was going to do now we are just going to go ahead and open up the armhole area of the sleeve like this this is like the easiest way to place your sleeve it works better for me now on the place where we have the joining on the shoulder i'm going to place the center of my sleeve it's easy for me to get the center of my sleeve because i've already ironed it out so i'll just pin the center to the top of the shoulder like you see me doing like this and i'm going to go ahead and continue to pin my sleeve all the way around the armhole once you're done pinning it down we're just going to head over and stitch down this area here and i'll do the same thing for the other sleeve after doing it this is what i have you can see it here all looking nice i've already ironed it out as well if you want your sewing to be very neat make sure you always iron as you sew so now i'm going to turn everything over to the wrong side so that we can join the sides so arrange everything properly now from the sleeve area here i'm going to go ahead and join the side all the way through to the armhole and down to the end of the dress i'll be using the one inch stitching allowance i gave earlier from here 
all the way to the end and once i'm through with the sides i'm going to just fold the ends of the dress and that'll basically be it so guys after finishing up the sides and finishing up the ends i realized that i was yet to fix my pockets on the side so i had to loosen up some parts of these side pieces here the side here to fix the pocket so from the armhole i came down by eight inches and made a point here then from this point i came down by seven inches and opened up so this opening i have here is seven inches wide okay i just loosen it up to give me my um pocket hole so i have this piece here that i folded into two if you open it up it's about 14 inches wide so i am folding it into two and what i want to do is from the top here i'm going to measure to the 12 and a half inch point I'm marking it here 12 and a half inch then i'm going to place this very close to the pocket area that i want to place it and from the top here i'm just going to make a free hand i'm using my free hand to make this curve to meet this point i have underneath here and then i'm going to cut it out now this is an old method i used to see my mom using to fix pockets on the sides of gowns so that's what i'm just trying out here so now i'm going to be stitching this to the allowances that we have here so i'll pick one of them one here and i'm going to stitch it to the allowance here i will just go ahead and pin it all the way on the allowance part of this side and then the other one as well placing them right sides facing each other ensure that they're aligning properly that one of the pockets is no longer than the other and go ahead and pin the other pocket all the way around on the stitching allowance of the other side so this is what it's going to look like by the time you're done so you can see there's a hole here where we have our pocket so i'll go ahead and stitch down this area here and the other side as well i'll stitch this down and once i'm chill with that i will just stitch from here all the way around so while making this stitch i made sure that my curl stitch started on my stitching allowance here you can see the allowance on this side so i curved it from here all the way to this other allowance here so that there will be no hole in my pockets so yeah after doing that that's basically all for the making of this dress you can see my pockets here on the side looking really nice and clean so this is a quick method you can use to fix a pocket if you are already done with your dress so lastly for this last piece of tiny feather i have here i noticed that there was a piece of feather in front of the dress that we're trying to make so this tiny piece is what i have here so i just pin it to the chest area and i'm going to be using my needle and thread to secure this later so that's all for the making of this dress guys thank you so much for watching i'll be seeing you guys in my next video bye